Hey y'all, so today we're at Scarlet Creative because we're doing a house tour. So I want you guys to see what the house looks like compared to what I did with it. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I'm shy in Second Life and on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So fun fact, right now Skylar Creative is actually having a Black Friday sale until December 4th, I believe the sign said. Um, all of their houses are going to be 50% off. So take advantage of that if you guys are interested in their house. So this is the house that I got. 36 prams. Um, the plot of land that I have is a 2032. So this was absolutely perfect for my land. So let's take a look around. So when you first like come into the house i guess they have like these stairs here then you come up the stairs it's this big open spot right here great for lounging or whatever you want to do i really do like this pool accent that they have so they got that going on the doors um they have doors on both sides that open and close one thing that i don't like about the doors is that they're not um really automatic like you can't walk up to them and they open you have to like manually do it and i tried to fix it in the door settings but it still stays the same so it has a huge open floor plan you guys know i love a good open floor plan and so then when you walk this way they got like this little cubby hole here and then across the way they have another identical cubby hole i was like hmm, what are we going to do with that so then over here is just another um open floor plan not as open as um the floor plan like when you first come in but it's still an open floor plan so it really leaves it where you can really make things the way that you want to make it that's the heat coming on y'all tis what it is so let's go back to the house and i will show you guys what i did so i did end up switching the stairs out but this is what i did with this space i kept the pool fairly um simple i wasn't really interested in doing a lot with this space so i just have a little floaty out they got some nice drinks on it and then my little champagne floaty that's super duper cute so over here i did have the little towel rags over here just on some get out the the pool grab you a towel put your little house shoes on and you know put your wet stuff in a little basket cute right so with this space i didn't want to have it like fully open because i was building a platform so i just put this i want i was trying to be art zeko you know fun fact i had saw this at a store and i was like i'm not buying that because i can make that so i just did um if you guys notice how it's the double doors here so you see how you can't walk up and it open it's the double doors here there were double doors here i simply took the double doors out and like stretched um this panel right here and just made the whole thing uh one big window instead of happening having it open on both sides so that's what i did there you know 773 always wrapping you know with the shoes you know i i wear shoes in my house but don't y'all do it don't y'all do it so let's go on in so i did throw some walls up because you know open floor plan you know you know you can do these things so i did want to go with a dark theme um this time around i normally do like lighter themes but i didn't want to do a lighter theme this time i did want to have a theme that was a little bit darker i think i've done a dark house a dark themed house like one other time and i really did um enjoy it i don't know why that bowl that bowl is floating I, I thought i had it in the right place but i didn't so i also have my little vacuum the one thing that i did love about this place is that because the place is low prim i was able to really map out different parts of the house and be able to set prims aside for like little add-ons like plugs and vents and switches and things like that and that's something that i don't believe that i really did in detail with um the last place that i was at y'all so i really really wanted this wine cooler or wine refrigerator but i was like i'm not you know me i'm a weekend sale girl i waited and waited and waited and bonaire finally put it up for the weekend sale and i snatched it immediately 
didn't know where to put it so I literally made this space so that I would be able to use it but I thought that this space was really nice y'all know I'm gonna have my black art y'all already know I, I I need to see my people's at all time um I wanted this space to be like a really chill just like cozy little nook type space y'all know did you did you really think that i was gonna forget it? it it almost didn't make the cut i was trying to find a place to put it but once i made this area i was like that's gonna be perfect so i have this my little cheese tray so when i'm having me a little glass of wine from my wine refrigerator I can just look at the beautiful views, enjoy my cheese, have a little look in a magazine and be good to go. Surrounded by plants. You guys know I love that. So yes. So with this art piece, because originally the art piece with the do rag was like my main centerpiece so with this one i found this beautiful art which was another piece of art that i got from the same place that i got the other pieces from well the one with the with the red do rag from i didn't even remember getting this but i found it and it's beautiful it works so perfect for the place um for the space because it had a really nice pop of color so i wanted this to have like more of like a foyer type vibe to it foyer foyer however y'all want to say it so i really like this it was given like it was one hotel that i had went to before in real life and they had a beautiful sitting space that looked very similar to this and so i kind of wanted to recreate it but with my own little flair their fireplace was way larger and the seating space was extremely ample so i just you know made it a little bit smaller just for um, my space real quick so this was the other costume that i wanted to show y'all that i actually didn't get a chance to wear nowhere i'm the mad hatter yes yes how cute is this right she's super cute i love the detail on this costume i said this is one of the costumes i ain't get to wear so this is that was i think this was like the last costume so here you know we got a nice full length mirror because check yourself out before you leave you know so although this room is tight it does what it needs to do this room was some place that i knew i was going to be spending the least amount of my time in so i just didn't want to dedicate a lot of prims to this space so my plot of land is a 2032 and i get a thousand twenty three prims remember how we were talking about in another video how people try to um not show their name this is my neighbor's I got neighbors y'all not in the sky i'm on the ground i got neighbors you know it is what it is so um with this bedroom this is the same bed that i used um for my last um house tour i just changed the colors on it but i do have like some other new things that wasn't at the other house so i have this little aromatherapy thing i had saw someone staged house in second life it was a picture um on facebook and i really like the like the dresser we actually went to visit a land like that where they had like the dresser behind the bed and i really really like a little night long nightstand and i really liked how that looked so i wanted to recreate that in this space and i feel like i did a pretty okay job you know i love a nice chill sitting space so that's definitely what i was recreating over here got my little spin a night bag you know we love a good spin a night bag this was back in my gotcha days when i ran up a bag um on some david heather stuff love love me some david heather always so then i have my little phone over here then i have my glam bag items because this is like my little vanity area i kept it fairly simple in my opinion I kept it fairly simple compared to um, how I decorate a lot of the times. I do like things to be a little thick when it comes to the clutter. I want it to look very lived in but still very well kept. Fun fact, these pictures I found off the internet and I brought them in the Second Life. Super cute, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. So for the lighting, I just went super simple with the little lights there. But then I also have... A very nice um chandelier you know something real mild 
So let's go. We can leave up out of here. Got my little sconces with my little dowels on the wall. So these are the little open spaces. So for this open space, I decided to make it a little laundry room. And I love this. Um, this laundry is from Merrick. And then the little top part was from a bar that I got from Merrick that I took apart and just stretched it over the um washer and dryer and i really really love this space it has a really nice lived in type feel to it and i really love it especially if you wanted to like take some little pictures and things like that over here i think that's super cute i think i had this art i know i had this art in my last place and so then over here i made this a bathroom so it's tight is it tight yes yes it's tight but but get your ass in the shower and then move around that's how i feel about it so i got my little tv in there with my little shower going you can see the neighbors and the neighbors can see me listen if they want to take the time out their day to pan and see what i got going on then listen that's exactly what you should be looking at you should be saying whatever you being nosy enough to try to see i see it all you you gonna be all right i, I ain't the first naked person you done seen in second life and i promise i won't be the last so i don't even trip on stuff like that because it is what it is so I love this little I think I got this from broken arrow this little hand wash tray super cute deodorant toothpaste toothbrush from fancy decor and then I have my mirror when I tell y'all I'm so excited. I, I've been like super excited since they have come out with mirrors because it was always definitely needed so now in this space you know you guys know i love doing multiple focal areas and this place was this space was no different so fun fact with this whole things from lavaria i believe that's how you pronounce it got it from a weekend sale and the items that are on it i bought a bookshelf from earthy or earth and i just detached or unlinked the items and linked them if they needed to be linked renamed them i had them in my inventory and i just put them on here individually as little place thingies just like little decorations for the shelves and i absolutely love how all of this the uh all of the things turned out like how all of the shelves look and how everything turned out y'all see i got my little smoke detector i love 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 being able to add like these little add-in um features to the land just it just really gives it more of like a lived in realistic feel and i love that so this is a table that we saw at the last place i didn't change any i don't think i changed anything about that i don't i think i might have taken one thing off of it but that was about it so for the little tables on the side i kept it real you know real simple got my little drink you know you know i'm gonna keep some money you know i'm gonna keep the money out so i thought for this table instead of doing like the normal like what i wanted to do like a candle and some coasters or something like that i thought it was cute to have a nice um a nice open like focal piece a nice big focal piece here and so i really really do like that initially i was gonna put that in the dining room but i just didn't like it was covering up the art and in a minute you guys will see why and i'm like i didn't want the art covered up so i got this little tray these little tables right here super cute fancy decor free gift wall or group gifts love it love it love it so again this piece of art was something that we saw in my last house tour ages ago but you know the lighting is making it look like these walls are like super duper icy shiny and i guess they are but um i didn't i didn't think it was gonna come off like this shiny anywho um this is my little dining room you guys know it's just me so i don't go and do like the six table settings and it's just me and if I have another person, then it'll just be us. But I don't, 
I, I don't have no family in second life. I don't really have, I don't have no friends in second life. Like I really just be doing my own thing. I have people that I talk to from time to time that I, I would consider them friends or just a really good associates. However, I don't talk to them on a regular basis. So they wouldn't be over here. Um, I wouldn't mind them coming over, but they just, you know, they don't, they don't be on like that. So um, these pieces of art all six of these pieces of art I got off the internet and I brought them in and then the frame is one big frame from Bazaar one pram I do believe there were one pram and you get the frame is the six picture frames are one piece so I thought that this was really really nice and I loved it for like a pop of color because the house is fairly dark and so I thought that the colors and the pictures would be a nice pop of color to kind of offset a lot of the darker tones in the house and I really really like how everything worked I did want to just add just like a little bit of color you know a, a little little bit of color so this was a little I was over here trying to make a new mat that's why you see that little green film on top of that plate don't worry about it and so then I got my chairs and things like that this table is actually a side table it was much smaller and I just made it larger so this is my little quaint little kitchen this island is the island that was from the last kitchen um this kitchen was a weekend sale kitchen and it did come with an island however i'm very prim conscious because i don't get a whole bunch of prims on my land but i still want to decorate like i do so i decided to not go with their island and i just went with the island that i had at the other house because it was less prims and i could work with it as well so on here, you know, we just got, you know, got some, got some little ganja goodies with a little lighter, you know. Um, and then I just got my little snackies here and then on the kitchen counter, just got my little spices and things like that, you know, yeah, got me some dishes. Okay. The time is in my time, not second lifetime, because sometimes I'm like, I need to just know at a glance. So this coffee machine, I love this from Movement. It was a weekend sale item. It is so nice. It gives you so many different coffee options. And then this was something else that I picked up from one of the other weekend sales not too long ago. This looks super duper yummy. And it came with this over here, which I love beautiful little accent pieces i think these are so fun so what else we got oh and then with this um oven you can like it does res food and things like that this is this kitchen set was a weekend sale item from oh where was it from i can't believe i forgot it zadig and i'm like i love that place so in this space, this is just another little chill spot. We saw this um, piano in the last place. So I did bring it back. I told you guys last time that there were going to be um, items from the other places or from my last place that I was going to reuse here simply because I'm like, it goes, it's going to go. So then I have like this little seating area and things like that so that you can just kind of chill and look out just to kind of see what's going on and i really did love that just some little goodies so you can kind of vibe out while you sit in have you some nice strawberries and then you can also have you a little a little glass of wine you know we we love a good drink we love a good drink and so got my little cushion here i love my sconces those are my neighbors luckily you guys my neighbor houses are nice they're really really nice so i did not mind not covering up um the neighbor's houses so i made this platform this is my little mail i made this platform because i wanted something a little extra for my to be to attach to my house so the theme of the land that i went with is tropical safari the beauty of second life is and i think i talked about this in a different video it doesn't really have to make sense it just needs to be pretty it needs to be aesthetically pleasing that's the beauty of second life so would these animals normally be around each other possibly yes would they be safe not necessarily 
not necessarily some might be pray for others you know but in second life we all fam so this is like the first little space that i made and i like that it has like the little cushion here so if you want to just like sit and vibe out with the animals you can do that as well and so then when you come down here it's just a really cute quaint little chill space that i made so i could come here watch tv watch a movie or something like that if i don't want to watch it in a house and then i have just like a couple things out when i make these platforms i always love to make them like multi-level because i do want the land to have a feel that is larger than what it actually is that just makes me feel better knowing that i can do that because you know i don't want to feel like i'm on like a little tiny piece of land even if that in actuality is really what it is so these little really nice yummy berry drinks with a little a little patron you know and then i have my popcorn machine in case i want some popcorn while i'm watching a movie so yeah so this was a really really cool chill little spot that i made and i'm super duper happy on how it turned out so then over here i have had this coffee shop this little outdoor coffee shop it's a rare item from minimal i've had it for a while and i finally got to use it i thought it would be super cute to have like a little coffee set up out here so that you can kind of role play take pictures like you're at the coffee shop and things like that like you waiting in line at the coffee shop i thought that was super cute and i liked how it fit into this space and so i also have like a little sitting space and things like that where you can just sit i love these little chairs the animations are really really nice in these these are from i want to say loft and aria i want to say that that's where they're from and a little prim i think they're just like only one prim but the animations are really nice so you can like get your little coffee and then come sit over here you could drink your coffee have you a nice little iced coffee joint and it'd be real real cute so when I decorate my lands, when I'm on the ground, I love challenging myself to kind of see, oh, real quick, these little archways, mm-hmm, we can sell. Um, I love challenging myself just to kind of see what all I can do with a small space. So I did want this little chill area. I love the I love the idea of like coming out here and just sitting in this really fluffy, comfy chair and having my coffee because I have a sunset view. Let me show you. You guys see? So such a mood, such a vibe just to kind of like chill out here. I love that my neighbors ah. Oh, they really i really love how they decorated that space so like this is one of my neighbors and then that house over there is my other neighbor so i don't mind seeing them and i don't mind you guys seeing them either because everything kind of goes the theme on this land is tropical so you have to have your land like a tropical type decorated like with a tropical feel to it um that's what they are you know that's what they ask that's what they tell you in the covenant that it's a tropical land so i really loved the idea of just kind of like sitting out here and just chilling and watching the sunset like how cute is that now if you know me then let me change the lighting because it is kind of dark much better so if you want to know a fun fact about me i love a good beach i love a good beach i love the water in second life i'm always down for a nice beach so every time i decorate my lands um when i'm not in a skybox of course i always make sure that i have a little slither of land just for a nice little beach and so that's exactly what i made here um just for me you know it, if somebody else is here we could sit on the same seat or i could raise another chair out it's, it's it's never that serious um i always decorate my lands with me in mind because it is it's just me it is just me and it is just me on purpose this is how i thoroughly thoroughly oop let me back up enjoy my second life i am a loner through and through and in second life i actually can be that loner and not be judged um, on the fact that I am a loner so I really get to live that part of my real life in second life and I do love it so I don't have a like not a lot of sitting areas not a lot of it's it's for me one one little lounge chair because it's just me if you want to say look it got couples animations so this is my little beach area let me show you guys it in sunset I know I know eats it up every time i love a good sunset 
love a good sunset you guys so this land 2032 um 100 uh, 1023 prams now do i got a bunch of prams left no but do i need a bunch of prams no i say reserve yourself about about 30 prams or so i ain't got no babies i ain't got none of that so i don't need all of that but when i tell you when in doubt build up this is exactly what i did i built up on this land house all the way up there i'm all the way down here and i was able to fit all of this on this land on a 2032 yeah 